Hello friends, this video on DNF block elements part 33 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. If we talk about the similarity between the lanthanides and actinides, then we'll see that both these lanthanides and actinides have f orbital. Right? f is the valence orbital. Number two, plus three is the prominent oxidation state in both uh, lanthanides and actinides. Number three, both source contraction you have lanthanide contraction and you have acti night contraction so both shows contraction okay and in both most of them are paramagnetic so paramagnetic is also one common feature in fact electropositive most of them shows uh, in both of these they show electropositive oxidation state positive oxidation state I can say. both of these are reactive these are some of the common things between the lanthanides and actinides they also have some difference. So, uh, see the poor shielding effect of 5F is more poorer. So, 5F has poorer shielding effect. Poorer shielding effect as compared to 4F. 5F has poorer shielding effect. Okay, that is the reason why we have so much difference. The first difference is lanthanides have generally plus 3 oxidation state, but actinides say have variable oxidation state. Let me draw a line here. So lanthanides and this is actinides. This is plus 3 oxidation state and this has variable oxidation state. That is one major difference. See paramagnetism behavior in lanthanides easy to understand and it is complex. So this is easy to understand. So, paramagnetism is easy to understand in uh, lanthanide but it is complex in actinides. Lanthanides they don't form any complex no complex formation but they form complex okay in lanthanides we don't have oxo ions there is no oxo ions in lanthanides but yeah they have oxo ions okay lanthanides except this guy promethium all are non radioactive so these are non radioactive except promethium but actinides all are radioactive okay so this is the major difference between the lanthanides and actinides let's take some numerical the question says name the number of lanthanide series which is known to exhibit plus four oxidation state we have seen that cdm cdm atomic number 58 exhibit plus four oxidation state and actinide contraction is greater from element to element than lanthanide contraction. Why? I have just told that 5F shielding effect is poorer. Poorer shielding effect. Okay. As compared to 4F. Since the shielding effect is poorer, the contraction is all the more visible. So, actinide contraction is more visible than lanthanide contraction. Okay, because contraction is all because of the effective nuclear charge experienced by the valence electrons. So if the shielding effect is poor, the effective nuclear charge experienced by the valence electrons is all the more, and thus the size will be less. Compare the electrochemistry of actinoids with that of lanthanides with special reference to electronic configuration, oxidation state, atomic and ionic side, and chemical reactions. So we talk about the electronic configuration, let's talk about the lanthanides. Lanthanides electronic configuration is xenon 4F0 to 14, 5D0 to 1, 6S2. Talk about actinide, the electronic configuration is 
5 f 1 to 14 6 d 0 to 1 7 s 2 here there is a difference in electronic configuration okay so in fact this 5 f orbital takes part in the bonding to a greater extent in the actinide talk about the oxidation state oxidation state lanthanides mostly plus 3 oxidation state some has plus 2 and plus 4 also but this is most active oxidation state if you talk about actinide it has greater range of oxidation state it has greater range of oxidation state and this is primarily because this 5f 6d and 7s orbital are of com comparable energies and thus they have greater range of oxidation state if you talk about atomic and ionic size both shows contraction but actinide contraction is more prominent than lanthanide contraction because actinide contraction is because of 5f and lanthanide contraction is because of 4f and 5f has poorer shielding effect than 4f so actinide contraction is more prominent if you talk about the chemical reactivity now see earlier member of lanthanum behave like calcium right lanthanum we talk about the lanthanum so they behave like calcium and then they behave like aluminum the later members but actinides they are highly radioactive they are highly radioactive okay but alkalis have no action on actinides less impact on actinide why because actinides form protective oxide layer when they are reacted with acid okay so lanthanum the starting members behave like calcium and they they start to behave like aluminium but the actinides they are all radioactive lanthanums they are not all radioactive only one of them is radioactive others are non radioactive but actinides all are radioactive what are alloys name important alloy which contains some of the lanthanides metals and mention it uses we told that we explained this alloy is nothing but a solution which is homogeneous of two or more metals in which the metallic radius is of comparable size so one metal actually replaces the other metal atom okay so they have different physical properties and important alloy of lanthanides is mesh metal this is very important alloy of uh, lanthanide it has 95 percent lanthanides and 5% iron right and some amount of sulfur carbon silicon this traces of this and this is used to make bullets because it is strong bullets it is also used to make tanks tankers for uh, fighting enemies and it is also used in gas lighters the question is what are inner transition metals and decide which of these are inner transition metals See, inner transition metals we know that the last electron enters F orbital. To tell whether these are inner transition metals or not, we have to write the electronic configuration. Let's pick 29. 29 is we know is copper, and the electronic configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 3d10, 4s1. Count this 10, 18, 20, 29. Yeah. So we see the last electron is entering S block, actually D block, D. This is how it is here, D. So it is a D block element, it is not F block element. So this is gone, right? The next is 59. This is praseodymium. Anyway, name doesn't matter. So let's write the electronic configuration for this. The electronic configuration for this will be 1s2. 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, 3d10. This follows the strand 3d10, then 4p6, 4p6, then 5s2, 5s2, and then 4d10, 4d10, and then 5p6, 5p6. And then 6s2 okay and then 6s2 then 4f let's see how many elements we are done 59 10 
18, 20, 30, 36, 38, 48, 54, 56, 3 more. So if you see, the last electron is entering F block. So 59 is actually F block element. Same thing, 74, you try. So 74, 59, uh, if you see what we have, we can skip something actually. So this was 10, 12, 18, 20, 30, 36, 38, 48, 48, 50, 56. Still here it is 56, right? So this we can write here directly 6s2. Where is 6s2? It's 56. I can write right? dot 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 6s2. This is my 56. I'm done with this. Okay. And then after that, I have 4f. 4f can have 14, 56 plus 14 is how much? 70, right? Then we have d, 4f, then 5d. So 5d will take at the max 4, no, why? Because 74, 56 plus 14, 70, plus 4, 74. So if you see the last atom is going d orbital, so it is also not f block. Next is 95. Here also we can use till 56. Okay, the same thing and then 4f14 that becomes 70, right, 70 and then 5d, 5d can have the max 10, 70 plus 10, 80 and then 6p, 6p can have at the max 6, right, 86, okay, and then 7s can have at the max 2, 86 plus 2, 88, 88, then 5f, 5f 88 and uh, we are left only with 7 so we'll put 7 here and f can accumulate at the max 14 so if you see the last electron is going to f block so yes this is also in a transition metal similarly 102 we can try so till here we had 80 7 or 88 88 till here we have 88 so we'll put 7s2 directly here until here we had 88 okay then we'll put the uh, 5 7s2 then 5s 5f it can have 14 88 plus 14 is how much 102 okay that means yes this is also my f block element next is 104 102 i know is 5f 14 and then after 5f, what is 5f? After 5f, I have 6d. So this is 6d2. That means this is going in the d block. It is a d block element. This is not a f block. Pretty easy. Just write the electronic configuration. It will tell you whether it's s block, p block, d block, or f. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch more videos. Attempt free online tests. Get pre-study materials find tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.